Next, we have relative humidity. Very, very important. And you know the importance of relative humidity because in the starting sessions only we discussed no? for human comfort, the two major parameters. First is the temperature, second is the RH. Relative right. Humidity. So before dealing with the relative before dealing with the relative humidity, I believe you already know what is humidity. Just now we discussed no? the moisture present in the air is a humidity or the moisture content is a humidity. Then what is relative humidity? The name will give you some idea. Relative means it's relating with something. So better to discuss first. Humidity ratio, then we'll let humidity. First, let me explain humidity ratio. Then we'll talk about this relative humidity. So it's simple. Humidity ratio is what? Also known as specific humidity. Specific means per unit volume, no? per unit if you measure, that we can call as a specific. So humidity ratio or specific humidity, both are same. It's a fundamental property in psychometry that represents the mass of water vapor present in a unit mass of dry air. For example, if I take one kg of air, and in that, if I got say 200 grams of moisture, so one kg, I'm just measuring for one kg, na? one kg is unit, unit, okay, means unit volume. In that, if I got, got say 200 grams of moisture, so that I can call as a humidity ratio. And if you want to get the total humidity, we'll multiply with the total volume. So in case of English system, we are measuring kg per kg of dry air. This kg is a air and this kg is a moisture. Similarly, in case of English system, we are measuring grains per pound of dry air. If you want, you can measure in pounds per pound of dry air. First pound is a air, second pound is a moisture. You see, this is, or else you can use the term grams per kg, not grains. Grains is different. Grams, I'm talking about grams. The unit can be grams per kg of dry air. So, one kg dry air in that, say, 200 grams. So, the unit can be grams per kg of dry air. Or the unit can be kg of kg of kg per kg of dry air. This kg is a moisture and the second kg is a air similar this is in english this is in metric system similarly in english system one can use pound per pound of dry air first pound is for moisture second point pound is for air or else we can use this grains per pound of dry air so one grain remember sorry one pound equal to seven thousand grain this is again unit of english system so don't get confused this is not gram this is grains so grains per pound of dry air instead of pounds per pound of dry air to avoid confusion so most commonly in english system we are using this unit grains per pound of dryer instead of pound per pound of dryer in metric system we are using kg uh, grams per kg of dryer or strictly si kg per kg so simply humidity ratio is what moisture present then present in the air for a unit volume nothing but the humidity and if you want to know the total humidity we'll multiply with the total volume at the time of calculation and remember this humidity ratio will be used at the time of latent heat calculation sensible heat will you uh, sorry drive temperature will use for sensible heat calculation similarly this humidity ratio to find out to deal with the latent heat because if you know the quantity then only we can find out the latent heat how exactly i'll show you in the load calculation don't worry at this level just try to understand <clears throat> these properties now we'll discuss very very important property humidity ratio sorry my mistake relative humidity this is important for interview point of view also so relative humidity means what relating with the saturated condition of air i'll give an example assume that in this classroom day one was this is the classroom so day one I'm measuring the temperature. Suppose I'm maintaining the temperature, say 76 degree Fahrenheit. And by using a humidifier, I'm continuously adding the moisture. Suppose with the humidifier, I'm continuously adding the moisture. And after say one hour, when I measure the humidity inside this, I got say 10 pounds. You see, degree Fahrenheit, so I'm using pound to avoid confusion. I'm using this system. So, and again after two hours, when I measure, I got 10 pounds. Even after five hours also when i measure i got 10 pound it means it means the maximum moisture possible at this temperature in this room is what you see at 76 degree fahrenheit 10 pound of moisture is what you saw like max maximum maximum right. maximum the maximum possible moisture content at this temperature in this room is 10 pounds it means rh is 100 percent and I can use one more term. The air is saturated. Remember when the R is 100%, it means we can say the saturated air. Means the air contained the maximum possible moisture content at that driver temperature. And remember, we cannot change the temperature. We need to measure at that particular driver temperature because as the temperature increases, the holding capa capacity of moisture by the air increases. And as the temperature decreases, the holding capacity of moisture by the air will decrease. Again, this is related to evaporation and condensation. So at this temperature in this room, the maximum possible 
moisture contains 10 pound it means rh is 100 percent this was day one now day two now in day two just i measure this i'm maintaining the same temperature 76 degree fahrenheit and i am not adding any moisture just i measure and i got say five pounds hmm. so it means rh i can consider as what 50 percent on what basis i can consider this rh is 50 percent uh, base is the you know saturation condition yes because we know that at at this temperature you see you cannot measure with a different temperature at the same double temperature when you compare the present moisture with the moisture when the air gets saturated that comparison is nothing but relative humidity matlab what can be the maximum possible and what is the present that comparison is nothing but relative humidity and remember whatever the temperature is maintaining for human comfort at this temperature if you maintain 30 to 60 percent moisture level it means you are maintaining comfort what we all discussed at the starting session for human comfort the humidity level should be 30 to 60 na? and below 30 what will happen right, right. dryness of skin and above 30 Sweat, 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 and the stickness, stickiness, the muddy condition. So in both the condition, that is not comfort. So that's the reason the range is 30 to 60. So whatever the maximum possible con possible moisture at that particular type of temperature, at that type of particular type of temperature, if you maintain 30 to 60, it means you can maintain the this comfort with respect to moisture for a man. So that's the reason this relative humidity is important. Got it online? Is there any relation in between the relative humidity and the humidity ratio? Humidity ratio is the quantity of the moisture. That is a major of the moisture. But relative humidity is a comparison of the moisture. Both are humidity only. But one is the actual quantity of that moisture that we can measure per pound. If you measure per pound, you can measure, you can multiply with the total volume. You'll get the total moisture in the room. That is calculated irrespective of uh, the temperature. But this RH is related to a particular temperature. What can be the maximum and what is the present? That comparison is nothing but RH. I mean, for example, mm -hmm. 76 degree Fahrenheit, we have mm -hmm. 10 LV moisture. That mm -hmm. 10 LV moisture is that is humidity ratio right the amount yes you can consider humidity this ten, 10 pound you can consider as a humidity uh total humidity not humidity ratio because humidity ratio is a specific specific unit i mean unit volume uh, this you can call as a total humidity total humidity okay. or total moisture present in the room but if you measure for one a pound then i can you can say humidity ratio or a specific humidity so both are interrelated it's not different but relative humidity means we are comparing with what saturated with the saturated condition at the same temperature this is an important point you not compare with the different temperature because different temperature means the holding capacity of moisture will vary at the same temperature if you measure or if you compare the moisture level that comparison is nothing but humidity relative humidity okay and this relative humidity is most important when we will do the load heat load calculation right yes for comfort actually this is for comfort this is one one of the parameter for human comfort so for, for example if i'm feeling comfort at 72 degree fahrenheit because you see this temperature also well well vary as per application and as per human to human exactly we don't have exact temperature for all human being because okay. we discuss some 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 people will feel comfort at 72, some will feel at 76, some will feel at 68. You see, if, if a person eating more calorie food, the heat released from the body is high. So he will not feel comfort at 76. He will feel comfort at 68 degree Fahrenheit. Okay, so that that, that also depends. So for example, if I'm, if I'm feeling at comfort at 70 degree Fahrenheit, for that particular condition, the humidity level should be 30 to 60 percent in between so that either I will not feel the dryness of skin or I will not feel the the sweat means sticky sickness stickiness of the skin uh, stickiness uh, means this muddiness and you see one more point uh, if the humidity level above 60 de 60 degree it will affect to the breathing also i have just given some some important points let me complete this sorry muggy condition sweaty and sticky and uh, you see irritated to respiratory system also even uh, if the humidity level above that condition above the 60 degree sorry 60 percent it will affect to the even the breathing also and you can relate this you see generally in summer when you get the rain sometime in summer also you'll get some rain no? immediately after rain you'll feel difficulty in breathing because in summer temperature is high and because of rain water also available so water evaporate, evaporates and the humidity level extend to maximum and because of that we'll we cannot breathe easy that is one just you can relate yes online no sir i can relate that design is not the most easy thing it's a very critical thing talk really. about precision air conditioning or process control yes but for human comfort we already have the standards you see we are in the modern world so most of the thing is available as a standard so you must learn how to use that in a proper way
so you are not doing we'll not do the research we'll not extract the codes and standard we already have so we'll learn how to use that in a proper way as per the requirement that's the reason concept is concept learning is important and that is also, that is also reason why i'm focusing more on the starting topics because all this will use at the time of load calculation see what explain the same relative humidity amount of moisture that a given amount of air is holding by the amount of moisture that is a given the amount the air can hold okay means at the saturation condition and remember when the air is saturated one more point if you want you can make a note of this when the air is in saturated condition dry bulb wet bulb and dew point temperature will be same i'll show you in the psychometric chart at the 100 percent rh line the three properties value is going to be same i'll show you next only this may ask in interview so when the air in saturated condition means when the rh is 100 percent dry bulb comma wet bulb and dew point temperature value will be same quickly i'll show you we'll learn how to use the psychometric chart but quickly let me show you this point i'll show you how to use the psychometric chart but at this level you see this point this line is this line is 100 percent rh line this one this curve and this 70 is battle temperature below 70 is a travel temperature and dew point temperature you will find here so now for example if i if i put the point here you see this this is at rh 100 percent now this point so you see this dew point temperature is 70 degree fahrenheit travel temperature is 70 degree fahrenheit on the right side dew point temperature also 70 degree fahrenheit this is one important point to consider for interview point of view but how to use this psychometric chart we'll discuss now after completing the enthalpy the next uh, humidity ratio already we discussed now this note we'll discuss let me complete the enthalpy first so i think remember we already discussed about enthalpy what is enthalpy in short mm -hmm. heat, content, heat content of the system right heat content of the system or a substance then why we are talking about enthalpy again you see this time we are talking about enthalpy for air and the important point is remember the enthalpy of air for air also it's a heat content but for what for dry air and the moisture that's it you see enthalpy will consider for let me mark the important point related to the latent heat total heat content of the air that includes sensible plus latent so enthalpy is heat only but for air since we discuss the air is what the the psychomet is what property of dry air and moist air no? so remember enthalpy of air is a summation of sensible and the latent sensible refers to the dry dry air and the latent refers to this moisture okay so that will be the total enthalpy of air and at the time of calculation we'll talk about the total enthalpy not just enthalpy of dry air or the moisture this is one important point rest of the thing you know what is enthalpy Next.